greatest challenge was finishing the race. It's it a huge event um, and very, very hard to finish. Only 11 boats out of 30 have finished, so that's, that's the greatest challenge. And uh, the highs, uh, and many are seeing the incredible albatross in the, in the Southern Ocean, uh, seeing this sort of unpolluted world down there, uh, the clear air, it's just fantastic. And, and the lows really are dealing with all the, the problems you get on the way to, to getting around the world. And, and particularly for me, uh, climbing the mast was quite a traumatic experience once when I was getting flung around up there in a, in a big storm. So um, there's many highs and lows, many, many great memories of one of those. Oceans are yeah, the, the lungs of the planet in a way, like, rather like the Amazon rainforest, and they, they keep the temperatures even around the world or uh, transport the heat around. And, uh, well, Earthwatch are really championing uh, the, the oceans, their oceans project, and it really fits in well with what we're doing. And, you know, I tried to document all the wildlife I saw on the trip and any, any pollution I saw, and, and also you know, publicise a little bit about the, the ca campaigns that Earthwatch are involved with. The major threats, I think, facing the ocean are the general global warming and acid acidification of the sea, and that affects the coral reefs, and uh, overfishing as well, I think. You know, even even if krill down in the Southern Ocean is uh, something that might affect the food chain for all the all the animals down there, and uh, that's something that needs to be to be to looked at carefully on an international level, and that's where Earthwatch can, can sort of lend their weight. Bird life is probably the most interesting because in the Southern Ocean you're surrounded by birds for a lot of the Indian Ocean because there's more islands there. It's, it's this amazing number of birds that follow you for days and especially the albatross, they're quite shy. And, and you'll come up on deck and suddenly they'll, they'll, they'll be flying really close to you and then they, they go away. So I think they just like to play with the, play with the boat and the, and the aerodynamics of the sail and use it as a landmark as they, as they travel around the, around the ocean. The next challenge is, is, is probably to uh, you know, do more single hand racing and, and, and uh, and gain more experience and, and, and uh, you know, go out and win some races, you know, transatlantic races, and think about doing another round of world race in the kingdom. So, uh, so lots, lots of challenges out there.